I mean, I'll give an example. I've got two daughters who I wanted them to educate first and then get married. They chose to get married, uh, and, 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 and two of them are married. And uh, I was quite happy with that, but my parents had an issue with that. They didn't just control us, but they wanted to control me as well and my children as well. Sorry, they, they already controlled me, but they wanted to control my children as well. Um, and again, it's the, it's the, you know, the is a bit and what will other people say. Uh, one of them, actually, at this, point, this is the point that I wanted to make yeah. uh, earlier. One of them, we went on holiday seven, eight years ago, liked a boy there and actually wants to go and get married there, which is, for me, it's a, you know, I wouldn't have it, but it's a choice thing. There's a very fine line between arranged and forced. Yeah. Forced is a symptom, an extreme symptom of arranging a marriage. And it is an issue, but of course, it's again, it's about the media and they the, the want to kind of perpetuate this negative image that our community has, but it's just one issue. And like I said, there's a very fine line. I was arranged to be married to my cousin at the age of seven. Now, I could have gone along with the status quo. That, for me, would have, now thinking about it, would have been a forced marriage because it wasn't my consent. My parents, well, not my mother, my, my father and his brother wanted it. Um, it still would have been arranged, but actually, deep down, if you look inside the person, it would have been forced. So their measures have to be in place. Harsher measures need to be in place because... Generally, yes. Generally. Or across the board. In your opinion, we need to have harsher measures. Harsh, harsher measures? Absolutely. The criminal, pe the people who are, do who are forcing marriages are criminal. Definitely. Simple as mm -hmm. that. One of the things that we need, we, we, we need to focus on is that actually the measures, there has to be measures because one forced marriage is one too many. We, we, I think we all agree on that. What the other thing is about penalising the Pakistani community and demonising them, there, is, there, there are better ways of doing things. There has to be a fine line between it without magnifying it into something that just, it, 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 there is an issue. We can't deny that. We can't brush that under carpet. But we need to look at ways of addressing that issue. I'm from the NHS and my background the NHS. We have diabetes, a high prevalence of diabetes among South Asian people. So we will naturally target those people to do more tests amongst them. And the similar thing applies. If we have an incidence of forced marriages and there, are, there is an incidence within the Pakistani community, then we need to address that. We need to give them leaflets out because it makes sense to do that. However, whether we're, what, we're, what we're doing in terms of putting laws in place as opposed to educating communities. We must educate our young people, we must empower them, but we also must talk to them, parents who are engaged or have that misguided concept of um, is it or whatever it is There's that a big drives difference it. between that and discriminating, and I think it's time yeah. to border on the line of discriminating towards Absolutely. Pakistanis now. We've evolved as a community, as a Pakistani community. Our parents came over and they basically came with what they know from Pakistan or India or wherever and we're emerging as a community, as a society and it seems as though it's all the negative aspects mm -hmm. of it that are being polarised and brought forward to, to the forefront and all the really positive things about families and all the values that we're bringing which are really, really positive. It's that minority who, forgive my French, take the piss with the system, allow their partners to come over for the wrong reasons that hinder on the genuine love cases yeah. And unfortunately, they're getting swept up in all these measures. And it's but surely a government such and as the UK government, fine. which is very, we, yeah, very we, robust, and we like to call it a very democratic system. And we should expect, we live in, a, uh, we live in Britain, right? We, we don't, we, you can't have one and not the other. We, we should expect the law to intervene where they deem justice is not being served. But then there is measuring sensitivity and safeguarding. And then also, on the other opinion, when you're saying... Pakistanis are taking the piss, when the other side is also, it's hitting hard on our community. Absolutely, and overall, the, the, the wider canvas, we are all getting tired with it. You know, all we've got to do is go outside, if we look brown, have a beard, or even have a, God forbid, have a rucksack or a, you know, a, a, head, a headgear, we're assumed to be groomers, terrorists, uh, people who, uh, you know, perpetual forced marriage, all the rest of it. So it's that minority which, unfortunately, t um, you know, targets and tarnishes the rest, and it's not fair. Final point. Look, we've got to get our house in order, and our failure to get our house in order has resulted in this intervention at a government level on our community, which is, I believe is disproportionate and discriminatory because they haven't done it with other communities. But we've failed to get our house in order. So as a community, we need to be very strong and very vocal in saying this is unacceptable behaviour, even though it's just a minority of cases. I don't believe this is endemic, it's a minority of cases, but we need to, to put out that very, very strong message. This is something which is completely unacceptable. And I think there's the other thing as well, which is problematic. Look, uh, you know, being a British Pakistani is as much as be about being as English as anyone else. So Pakistani culture is, has contributed positively 
in Bradford enormously, and I think it's unrecognised, and I think this is a crime that we felt, and that accentuates the polarisation that we are outsiders. We are not outsiders. We are members of the society. Islam is a British religion, and Pakistan, British Pakistanis, they are contributing positively. So I think that's changing the paradigm of problematising us as a community, saying that, no, we have an enormous... We have made an enormous positive contribution, and we will in the future. And we are, like I said, a vibrant and positive, dynamic community who will, will have that positive impact in the future.